Good evening. Good evening, members of the Westerly Community, the Westerly School Committee, the Westerly Public School Administration, Westerly High School faculty and staff, scholarship committee members, families, and most importantly, our graduating seniors from the class of 2020. Welcome to the annual baccalaureate program. We are broadcasting live from Federico Gymnasium at Westerly High. Thanks to our generous donors, Tonight, we will award over $160,000 to 74 deserving seniors. Additionally, we will be recognizing our students who have earned the seal of biliteracy and triliteracy and those who will be entering the armed services. Please know that each senior is being given a personalized gift bag to include their high school diploma. Your scholarship information will be included in this package and the letter will give you specific information on how you will obtain your scholarship or award. To begin our ceremony tonight, please welcome Tyler Frobert to lead us in the Pledge of Allegiance. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Singing the National Anthem, please welcome Marissa Berardo, Jensen Lund, and Ashley Verno. Oh, say can you see by the dawn's early light what so proudly we hailed at the twilight's last gleaming Broad stripes and bright stars through the perilous fight. O'er the ramparts we watched, we're so gallantly streaming, and the rapids river, the bones bursting in air. Each year, two students provide reflections on behalf of the graduating class. One student who attended Westerly Public Schools for his or her entire school experience, and another who transferred to Westerly Schools when they entered high school. This year, the members of the class of 2020 selected both speakers. To provide reflections on the K-12 experience, please welcome Noah Silva to the, pro to the podium. Good evening to the marvelous students of the class of 2020, their families, friends, educators, and whoever else may be viewing this broadcast. For those of you who do not know me, my name is Noah Silva, and like many of yourselves, I am a member of the class of 2020. Before I begin, I must thank my fellow classmates for granting me the distinct honor of reflecting upon the completion of our high school arts, as well as the faculty, staff, and administration of Westerly Public Schools who enabled the accomplishments we are here today to commemorate. A personal hero of mine, Captain Steve Rogers, said that sometimes patience is the key to victory. Sometimes it leads to very little, and it seems like it's not worth it, and you wonder why you waited so long for something so disappointing. To say that senior year has been disappointing is an embarrassing understatement. The class of 2020 never reaped the rewards that our predecessors did or how our successors will. However, Despite the sacrifices we made this year, 
we must recognize that we hold the distinction of being part of history in the making. Speaking of history, I'd like to touch upon some of our shared backstory today as we stand here anticipating the bittersweet finale of our high school careers. As challenging as high school proved, middle school was an entirely different animal. Across fifth through eighth grade, we are tasked with the tremendous responsibility of deciding who our character is and how we want to develop that character through our teenage years. As a result, everything in middle school felt so consequential. For example, by the first week of the school year, we had self-assigned our seats in the cafeteria. We bemoaned mixing up lunches and alphabetical assigned classroom seating. When today, I think I speak for most of us when I say I would give anything to sit next to any one of my peers in my cap and gown on our Gary Field. I don't think any one of us knew when we received our eighth grade certificates that it would be the only time we would walk across the stage as a westerly bulldog. Many of my peers, myself included, nostalgize our time at Western Middle School, dashing across the soccer field for capture the flag, hitting up the Scholastic Book Fair, roaming the halls during open houses, watching movies on the last day of school. I realize today when I look back upon my middle school years, I'm almost a little jealous. We were blissed with the ignorance of our outside world, but we were so focused on the happenings within the walls of that W-shaped building. Our scores on the Pacer test, our pride, our Passages for price speaking, our partners for school projects, our Instagram followers and SNAP scores all seem trivial after the experience and maturity over four years at Westerly High School have bestowed upon us. Part of me wishes to time travel back to my younger self and give him a little perspective. Another part considers perhaps is my own perspective that requires adjusting. Instead of mourning the time we lost, let's celebrate the time that we had. I have accepted that the class of 2020 will not receive the closure we deserve. But I consider the words of vision at the conclusion of Avengers Age of Ultron. A thing isn't beautiful because it lasts. It's a privilege to be among them. Thank you. To provide the second reflection, please welcome Marissa Berardo. With a class of 173 people, some of you know me and some don't. My name is Marissa Berardo, and I want to thank my classmates, first of all, for allowing me this opportunity to offer a few reflections regarding our high school experience. Thank you also to our teachers, administrators, and staff for their support over the past four years. In some ways, our high school experience has been like an epic journey. I'm reminded of Tolkien's Lord of the Rings trilogy. As you may recall, a group of people, some of whom are already friends, and some who are strangers to one another, embark on a shared journey to attain a common goal. They encounter difficulties and disappointments, share laughs and good times, work together as a team, and deepen their friendships. Perseverance, sacrifice, and hope are some of the many themes. Unlike my 8th grade class at St. Pius X, I found myself in classes with strangers as a freshman at the high school. At the WHS 101 Watch Out field trip, I was particularly struck by how many people I didn't know. But I gradually learned your names, greeted you in the hallways, and slipped with you between Ward and Babcock on snowy days. By the end of freshman year, we all established new friendships and understood what was expected of us on our path to graduation. Sophomore year was much better as we developed more confidence. The DC trip was definitely a prominent memory, and I especially recall the excitement beforehand, hiding out in the bathroom above the cafeteria with a few friends, waiting for the announcement to retrieve our luggage and run to the bus so we could be first in line. I also remember our entire class planting flowers along Babcock as a part of the Daffodil Project. Junior year was a great one from a social perspective. A personal highlight from that year occurred during a football game. I was positioned next to the caution tape between the dog pound and the marching band. Perhaps I should have paid closer attention to my row because someone was shoved and a domino of people bumped into me, sending me over the caution tape and onto the quad drums. I also remember Mr. Zemanik supplying me with a cupcake during an advisory meeting as I had missed mine the day before. As a class, we also had our one and only prom in June. 
Senior year began with college applications and essays as many of us worked toward college acceptance. Other classmates spent time building their resumes for the working world or perhaps the military. We also approached the first semester with confidence and excitement as graduation was within sight together with the perks of senior year, the prom, the picnic, the ceremonies. Things did not turn out as planned, but the class of 2020 persevered and achieved its ultimate goal. Personally, I'll always remember performing in the marching band color guard, theater, and chorus. When we look back on our high school years in the future, we certainly won't be thinking of disappointments. Instead, we'll be thinking of the fun experiences, the special relationships we've had, and the things we've learned. In the two towers, Frodo feels dis despondent, but his best friend, Samwise Gamgee, delivers a great monologue that motivates him to continue on his quest. In part, he says, how could the world go back to the way it was when so much bad had happened? But in the end, it's only a passing thing, this shadow. Even darkness must pass. A new day will come. And when the sun shines, it will shine out the clearer. Folk in those stories had lots of chances of turning back, only they didn't. They kept going because they were holding on to something. Frodo asks, what are we holding on to, Sam? And Sam says that there is some good in this world, Mr. Frodo, and it's worth fighting for. To the class of 2020, keep fighting. Thank you. I am honored to begin the award portion of tonight's program. Students in the class of 2020 have been selected to receive the following awards in recognition of outstanding achievement during the years at Westerly High School. We begin tonight's awards ceremony with the announcement of our top 10 students, our salutatorian, and our valedictorian. Each of our top 10 students will receive a blue and white on accord to be worn with their cap and gown. Number 10, Sean Rafferty. Sean is a three-sport athlete playing soccer, running indoor and outdoor track. He is a member of the Rhode Island and National Honor Societies. He will attend Quinnipiac University in September. Georgina Lau. Georgina is a member of our dance team, Dance Line, the International Club, and the Ink Bandits. She is a member of the Rhode Island and National Honor Societies. Georgina plans to attend Providence College in the fall. Ashley Amato. Ashley is a member of our girls lacrosse team and indoor track team. She is a member of VASA and Character Ed, the Rhode Island and National Honor Societies. She will attend Allegheny College in Pennsylvania this September. Kyle Sioffi. Kyle is a member of our tennis team, math team, VASA club, and was a class officer. He is a member of the Rhode Island and National Honor Societies. He will be, be attending Boston University in the fall. Annalise Seibel. Annalise is a member of the swim team, the math team, the international club, character ed, the film club, the outdoors club, and alliance. She studied abroad in Belgium during her junior year. She will attend the University of Connecticut in September. Jordan Selico. Jordan is a member of student council, character ed, the Rhode Island and National Honor Societies. She is a class officer and a member of our swim team. During her junior year, she acted as a student representative to the school committee. Jordan will remain a bulldog at the University of Georgia in the fall. Kelly Lau. Kelly is a member of the math team, the international club, the outdoors club, the Ink Bandits, and the Alliance. She is a member of the Rhode Island and National Honor Societies, and Kelly will attend Boston University in September. Sydney Federico. Sydney is a standout four sport athlete playing soccer through her junior year, running cross country, indoor and outdoor track. She is a freshman mentor, a member of the Rhode Island and National Honor Societies, and participates in VASA. She is also the class secretary to the class of 2020. Sydney will attend the University of Rhode Island in the fall. The salutatorian for the class of 2020 is Abigail Toronto. Abby is a three-sport athlete running cross-country, 
indoor and outdoor track all four years. She is the chair of the school culture committee, a freshman mentor, a member of VASA, the International Club, and Character Ed. She is a member of the Rhode Island and National Honor Societies, and Abby will attend Providence College in September. The valedictorian for the class of 2020 is Maya Champ. Maya is the president of the class of 2020, the president of the National Honor Society, a member of the Rhode Island and National Honor Societies, Alliance, and a freshman mentor. Maya also participates in the International Club, the math team, and character ed. She will attend Penn State in the fall. Congratulations to our top 10 ranked students. I'm pleased to also announce tonight the seal of biliteracy recognition for our students who attained the seal of biliteracy with our world language department. For such a small school, we have a very large number of students who passed this assessment, and we are very proud of their accomplishments. Endorsed by the State of Rhode Island Department of Education and Westerly School Committee, we award the seal of biliteracy to students who have demonstrated a nationally benchmarked level of proficiency in writing, speaking, listening, and reading in two or more languages, including English. The following students have earned the seal of biliteracy in Italian and English. Kyle Sioffi, Sidney Federico, Jessica Ferraro, Michael Imbruglio, Carly McGill, Natalie Rextus, Hannah Vettolino, and Jackson Wheeler. Congratulations to those eight students the following students have earned the seal of biliteracy in French and English. Blake Bush, Jordan Celico, Aaron Healy, and Joshua Rastelli. Congratulations to those students as well. The following students have earned the seal of biliteracy in Spanish and English. Ashley Amato, Tyree Brooks, Maya Champ, Jackie Chen, Daisy Gates, Ryan Imbriglio, Aldo Juarez, Georgina Lau, Kelly Lau, Theora Manning, Kylie Marley, Gabriella Paterno, Sean Rafferty, Emery Saloon, Annalise Seibel, and Abigail Toronto. And we have two students this year that have earned the triliterate seal in Spanish, Italian, and English. Congratulations to Veronica Lupinacci and Glarismar Nieves. We also have a number of students that have declared their intention to enter the armed services. Best of luck to Adrian Medina, who decided to join the Army, Colby Macon and Derek Mason, who will be joining the Army ROTC program. And entering the National Guard is Mark Gervasini and Aiden Towner. Best of luck to those boys. It brings me great pleasure to announce the scholarship recipients in tonight's program. Each recipient applied for these scholarships and were chosen by their selection committee. And here are the results. The Amancio Falcone Gachon Post 8955 Veterans of Foreign War Auxiliary Scholarship is given to a senior who is a daughter or granddaughter of a veteran. Congratulations to Maya Champ the recipient of this award. The Amancio Falcone Gachon Post 8955 Veterans of Former War Scholarship is awarded to a senior who is a child or grandchild of a veteran. Tonight's recipient is Jordan Celico. The American Legion H.W. Merrill Post Number 16 Scholarship is presented to a student who has displayed high academic achievement, quality of character, and good citizenship. Our recipient is Gianna Kaleo. The Anthony J. Serio Memorial Scholarship was established in the memory of Anthony J. Serio, a prominent Connecticut banker who graduated from Westerly High School in 1965. This scholarship is given to a student who is pursuing a career in business or financial studies. Congratulations to Brandon LaRosa for this award. The Antonio and Angelina Azanaro scholarships are given in memory of two avid believers in education, Antonio and Angelina Azanaro. 
They were immigrants to Westerly, Rhode Island from Acre, Italy in the early 1900s. Antonio was a shoemaker at his shop on Union Street for many years, and Angelina tended to the domestic chores in their eight daughters at home. These scholarships are funded as a result of the sale of the lots, a parcel of land Antonio and Angelina purchased many years ago. Tonight's recipients are Jackie Chen and Jillian Ferraro. Congratulations to both of them. The Arbutus Garden Club Scholarship is awarded to a student pursuing a degree in a natural science field. Tonight's recipient is senior Blake Bush. Congratulations. The next scholarship is presented to a student who has excelled in the study of science. The, Zeti, the Betty Zerberini Memorial Scholarship is awarded to Kelly Lau. The BPOE Westerly Elks Lodge 678 scholarships are given to seniors who have actively participated in community service and maintain high standards of scholarship throughout high school. Our recipients are Jordan Selico and Nicholas Lozon. The Calabrese Society scholarships are given to children or grandchildren of a member of the Calabrese Society. Tonight's recipients are Talia Caradio, Rocco Salino, and Nicholas Fusaro. Congratulations. The Carl Millimackie and Richard Smith Memorial Scholarships are given in memory of Carl Millimackie and Richard Smith. Both graduated from Westerly High School in 1961. They were true Americans who loved their country, church, family, and friends. They were proud to serve their country, Carl as a Marine, and Richard as an Army military police officer. They will be remembered as leaders, men who took pride in everything they did and always did what they believed was right. These scholarships are given to Eagle Scouts who will attend the University of Rhode Island. Congratulations to Tyler Faubert, Jensen Lund, and Tyler Travis for winning this scholarship. The Chad, the Chad Antosh Memorial Scholarships are awarded to student athletes who have overcome an academic challenge have demonstrated the dedication and desire needed to succeed as varsity athletes while earning the respect of faculty and peers. This year's recipients are Daisy Gates and Nicholas Lausanne. The Chelsea Groton Bank Scholarship is given to a senior who has good character and has excelled academically. Congratulations to Andrew Salama for winning this scholarship. The Cheryl Smith Mayhew Memorial Scholarships are given in memory of Cheryl Smith Mayhew. She was the first female athlete to be inducted into the Westerly High School Hall of Fame. She was our first athlete, male or female, to earn all state honors every year while she was in high school. These scholarships are given in her memory to students who exemplify the true meaning of student athlete. Our recipients this year are Anna Casalino, and Sydney Federico. Congratulations. The Chris W. Crutchank Memorials Scholarship is presented to a student who exemplifies a combination of academic achievement, community involvement, and athletic ability. Congratulations to Kyle Siofi for winning this award. Our next scholarships are in memory of past Westerly High School graduate Christopher Lombardo. He was a football and baseball player, photography and Jeep enthusiast. He also loved all outdoor motor sports. One of his greatest sources of happiness was being a volunteer with the Westerly Fire Department. Christopher's diagnosis of AML in 2018 did not stop his love of adventure. He could often be found on the beach in his Jeep or in the woods. He loved to be on the water on his jet ski or on land on his motorcycle. The pictures that he took spoke volumes. The relationships he formed in school became like his family. He worked hard and played even harder. He was a mechanic and his dream was to take over the family business at Redstone Tire. These scholarships honor his memory. Tonight's recipients include Miranda Carrero, Gianna Kaleo, Nicholas Fusaro, Kylie Marley, and Samantha Pagliuzzi. Congratulations to those five students. 
Clarence D. Stenhouse was a member of the Westerly Ambulance Corps for 50 years. He served as commander from 1953 until his death in 1974. To honor his memory, the Westerly Ambulance Corps established this scholarship as a tribute to his dedication, his influence on youth, and his service to the community. These scholarships honoring his memory and work are awarded to seniors majoring in health services. Congratulations to Miranda Carrero, Jensen Lund, Kylie Marley, and Olivia Marsh. The Dante Society Scholarship in memory of Lillian Ruisi is given in memory of Lillian, an Italian teacher in the Westerly school system for 44 years, and the first president of the Dante Society of Westerly. This scholarship is awarded to a senior who has excelled in the study of Italian. Congratulations to graduate Sidney Federico for receiving this scholarship. The David T. Tarnopol scholarships are presented to students who have displayed good character, scholastic performance, and been active participants in school and community activities. The recipients are Jessica Ferraro, Kelly Lau, Joshua Ristelli, and Emery Saloon. The Dominic Gencarelli Family Trust Scholarships are awarded to students who will attend Providence College. Tonight's recipients are Georgina Lau and Abigail Toronto. Congratulations. Our next scholarship is the Dorian J. Murray Memorial Scholarship. Dorian was a pediatric cancer patient who attended Springbrook Elementary School. His wish was to be famous. The D-Strong movement unified people around the world. The recipients of this scholarship attended Springbrook Elementary School, exemplify Dorian's tremendous spirit, and have shown that they can be successful while facing adversity or challenges in their life. Congratulations to Jillian Ferraro and Sean Rafferty. The Dr. Louis A. LaPierre Memorial Scholarship is given annually to a student who has been accepted into a program in the medical field. Emma Stahl is tonight's award recipient. Congratulations. A lifelong resident of the community, E. Gertrude Kingsley was a graduate of Pembroke College. She devoted her life to teaching English as a classroom teacher and as the English department head. She represents a love of language, a love of education, and a love of young people. She perpetuates that love through her generosity. The E. Gertrude Kingsley Memorial Scholarship tonight is given to Abigail Toronto. The Gloria Smith Russell Memorial Scholarship was created in memory of Gloria, who was a very gifted writer. She worked at a number of newspapers and radio stations in the region. She made history in 1966 when she became the first female reporter for the Westerly Sun. She continued writing into her 90s. Her last column was called Reminiscing. This scholarship is made possible through the, through the generosity of Carol Amedio, Amedio, excuse me. Tonight's recipient is Daisy Gates. The Harry Ikowich Memorial Scholarship is awarded to a senior who will pursue a degree in nursing. Congratulations to Olivia Marsh for receiving this scholarship. The Honeydew Donut Scholarship is awarded to a student in good academic standing who has participated in volunteer and community activities. Congratulations to Isabella Martino for receiving this scholarship. Peggy Friend was one of the kindest and loving people most of us will ever know. She demonstrated enormous courage and strength, even during her lengthy battle with cancer. Through it all, she always put the needs, comfort, and feelings of her family, friends, and even her animals above her own. This scholarship is awarded to a senior who possesses some of the same attributes and expresses these qualities to family, friends, and the community, not only when facing adversity, but in the course of everyday life. The Hope and Kindness Peggy Friend Memorial Scholarship is awarded to Marissa Letizio. The Irish Coastal Club David Maloney Memorial Scholarship is awarded to a senior who has actively participated in community service and maintained high standards of scholarship throughout high school. Abigail Toronto is the recipient of this scholarship. 
congratulations. The James J. Federico Senior Endowment Scholarship is awarded in honor of James J. Federico in recognition of his outstanding contributions, guidance, and example to youth at all levels of education and athletic participation. This scholarship is awarded to a student athlete graduating from Westerly High School who will be attending the University of Rhode Island. Congratulations to Sydney Federico for winning this scholarship. The James Longo Luco Memorial Scholarship is given to a senior who has demonstrated courage, integrity, and dignity at the high school and within the community. Congratulations to Gianna Kaleo for winning this scholarship. The Jean Coderi Crowley Memorial Scholarship has been established by the family of Jean Coderi Crowley, a longtime educator and principal in the Westerly School System. It was designed to commemorate her life and recognize a graduating senior who exemplifies the qualities she possessed. Tonight's recipients are Lexis Dias, Marissa Letizio, Samantha Pagliusi, and Gabriella Paterno. Congratulations to those four students. The John Boyle Memorial Scholarship is awarded to a student who plans on studying law. Tonight's recipient is Gianna Kaleo. Congratulations, Gianna. The John J. and Mary C. Scholarship, excuse me, the John J. and Mary C. Smith Scholarship is awarded to a student who will commute to school. Tonight's recipient is Chaz Morgan. Congratulations. In addition to providing a food pantry, emergency financial assistance, and adult education uh, services, the Johnny Cake Center of Westerly awards scholarships to graduating seniors. The Johnny Cake Center of Westerly scholarships are awarded to Gianna Kaleo and Tyler Faubert. Congratulations. The Joseph Lewis Memorial Scholarship is given to a senior who has participated in community service and maintained a high standard of scholarship. Our recipient this year is Lexis Dias. Congratulations. Julie Lynn Cardinal was a firm believer in change and community engagement, an advocate for women's rights, a helping hand for individuals with drug addictions, a supporter of single mothers, and a passionate believer in advancements in mental health support. She was also known for her carefree spirit and love for music. This scholarship is awarded to a student pursuing a degree in psychology social work, or music. The Julie Lynn Cardinal Memorial Scholarship is awarded to Carly McGill. The Kevin Bruno Walsh Memorial Scholarship is given in memory of Kevin B. Walsh and is given to a senior who will attend the University of Rhode Island. Michael Fiore is the recipient of this scholarship. Congratulations, Mike. The Laugh Long and Prosper Joshua Becker Memorial Scholarship is awarded in memory of Joshua Becker, a 1999 graduate of Westerly High School. Tonight's recipient is Philip Peterson. The Liz Gervasini Memorial Scholarship is awarded to a graduating senior who best exemplifies the spirit of our beloved secretary. Liz truly loved every minute at Westerly High School and would be proud of this year's recipient. Congratulations to El Reno Sebastian for winning this scholarship. The Lois Stillman Memorial Scholarship is given to a student who will major in music. This year's award winner is Carly McGill. The Love of Language Scholarship is presented to a senior who has demonstrated a love of learning language and plans to further their knowledge of that language. This year's recipient is Jillian Ferraro. Congratulations, Jillian. The Mary C. Jolly Trust Scholarships are awarded to seniors with the following qualities, scholastic ability, good citizenship, and character. This year's recipients are Marie Blackwood and Anthony Durante. Congratulations. The Matthew Winook Memorial Scholarship is given to, in memory of the Westerly High School graduate Matthew Winook to students who will be, suing, will be pursuing careers in biology or health sciences. This year's recipients are Blake Bush, Rebecca Collins, and Olivia Marsh. Congratulations. 
The Michael E. Cordier Memorial Scholarships are given in memory of Michael E. Cordier. Michael loved life and his family and friends. Tragically, on February 20th, 2003, Michael was a victim of the Station Nightclub Fire. This year's recipients of this Memorial Scholarship are Aaron Keegan, John Turo, and Nicholas Turo. Congratulations. The Michael Garino Memorial Scholarships are given in memory of Michael L. Garino and is awarded to a senior who exemplifies his, tra his traits of concern, leadership, scholarship, and humility. Congratulations to Lexis Dias, the winner of this year's scholarship. The Michael Najem Scholarship, sponsored by the Westerly Youth Basketball League, is given to students who, has, who have been members of the Westerly Youth Basketball League for four years. This year's recipients are David Allen and Miranda Carrero. The Michael Vogel Memorial Scholarship is given in memory of Sergeant Michael Vogel, a 2005 graduate of Westerly High School. Mike joined the Marine Corps immediately following his graduation. He is a great example that with hard work and perseverance, not only anything is possible, but everything is possible. The hope for this scholarship is to assist an eager graduating senior in pursuing their own educational goals. Congratulations to Caitlin Blackwood for receiving this scholarship. The Next Tech Solutions Scholarship is presented to a student planning to pursue a career in business. Patrick Murphy is the recipient of this year's Next Tech Solutions Scholarship. Congratulations, Pat. The Nick Vano Scholarships, sponsored by the Westerly Lodge Number 10 Fraternal Order of Police and Associates, are given to students who have exhibited the finest character, leadership, academic achievement, and active participation in school and community activities. The recipients are Miranda Carrero, Gianna Caleo, Trent Lamb, and Abigail Toronto. Congratulations to those students. The North End Social Club Scholarship in memory of uh, Ercole Marino is awarded to a student who is a child or grandchild of a current member of the North End Social Club. This year's recipient is Gianna Caleo. On August 31st, 2013, Olivia Rotundo died at a young age of 20. She graduated from Mount St. Charles in 2011 and was a member of the Mount St. Charles State Championship cheerleading team. Additionally, she was a student at Cheryl's School of Dance in North Providence for 15 years. After high school, Olivia attended the University of New Hampshire and was a, a member of their dance team. The Live For You Foundation was created to honor the qualities of Olivia's life that made her unique. Each year, the foundation awards scholarships to graduating Rhode Island dancers and cheerleaders who have demonstrated outstanding drive, creativity, and dedication to their art and also ac academic excellence. The Olivia Noel Rotondo Memorial Dance and Cheerleading Scholarships were established in her memory, and this year, Westerly High School is honored to have two recipients. Congratulations to Lexis Dias and Samantha Pagliusi. The Paul Lynch Memorial Scholarship was established by the Paul Lynch Memorial Fund. Before his passing in October 2011, Paul was the president of the Westcon Corporation of Pawkatuck and the Granite Theater in Westerly. He was also involved in a number of local organizations, including the Westerly Pawkatuck YMCA, the Westerly Savings Bank, the Westerly Hospital, as well as the Horace A. Kimball Foundation. Paul grew up in the Providence, but was involved in the community since the purchase of Westcon in 1979. Paul truly loved Westerly and was honored to be part of the community for over 30 years. Congratulations to this year's recipient, Asha Hauser. The Pfizer Scholarship is awarded to a student who will enroll in a six-year PharmD program at the University of Rhode Island. Congratulations to Andrew Salama for receiving this scholarship. The R&J Memorial Scholarships were established in honor of Roy Seitzinger and Jerry Waldrip, the fathers of our former superintendent, Dr. Roy Seitzinger, and his wife, Louise Waldrip Seitzinger, both of whom were known for their unfretted thrill of discovery, 
new ideas, and new ways of thinking. Congratulations to tonight's recipients, Jensen Lund and Gabriella Paterno. Richard Smith was a member of the Westerly High School class of 1961 and served in the U.S. Army. He was featured on the cover of Time magazine titled Can Man. Decades of, re decades of recycling raised enough money to provide a fleet of canoes to the Boy Scout Troop No. 2, as well as fund the Carl Millimacki Scholarship. Dick was instrumental in the development and funding of the URI Vietnam Memorial. He was awarded an honorary degree from URI in 1997 and was inducted into the URI ROTC Hall of Fame in 2001. The Richard Smith Memorial Scholarship are given in his memory. Tonight's recipients are Maya Champ, Rocco Salino, and Nicholas Lozon. The Ronald D. Spazzato Sr. Memorial Scholarship is awarded to a student who demonstrates a strong work ethic, unselfish attitude, and good character in athletics and the community. Tonight's recipient is Patrick Murphy. Congratulations, Pat. The Rotary Club of Westerly Scholarships are given to seniors who have actively participated in community service and maintained high standards of scholarship throughout high school. This year's winners are Daisy Gates, Brandon LaRosa, and Olivia Marsh. The Ruth Prosser West Westerly Yacht Club Scholarship is given in memory of Ruth Prosser to a child of an active member of the Westerly Yacht Club. Tonight's re recipient is Ashley Amato. The Sean F. Farley Memorial Scholarship is awarded to student athletes who have successfully balanced their studies with participation in sports. These student athletes have also been committed to community service throughout their high school years. Congratulations to Rocco Salino and Abigail Toronto for receiving these scholarships. The Sarah Family Scholarship is awarded to an active, involved member of the class of 2020 who will be pursuing a degree in business. Julia Garrow is a recipient of this scholarship. Congratulations, Julia. The Teresa Negrelli Memorial Scholarship is given to a student who has exhibited perseverance and good character during their years at Westerly High School. Tonight's recipient is Patrick Murphy. The University of Rhode Island Think Big Scholarship is awarded to a student who embodies the concept of thinking big. Tonight's recipient is Julia Garrow. The Vincenzo Nigro Memorial Scholarship was established in memory of Vincenzo Nigro, who was struck and killed by a drunk driver on Memorial Day in 2011. Vincenzo was a very loving husband, father, and grandfather, and this scholarship is given to a Westerly High School student in his memory. Tonight's recipient is Sean Rafferty. The volunteer scholarships have been set up in memory of Mark Mitchell. Mark was a Pawkatuck Fire Department volunteer who paid the ultimate sacrifice in protecting our community. Tonight's recipients are Aidan Fulbert and Aaron Tallardy. Congratulations. The Wayne Findyson Memorial Scholarships is an opportunity to continue Wayne's legacy by awarding a scholarship to worthy seniors. These students have exemplified Wayne's excellence in athletics, academics, and service to the school and community. Congratulations to our recipients, Sydney Federico and Daisy Gates. <clears throat> the Westy Westerly Area Youth Lacrosse League Scholarship is awarded to seniors who have been members of, a member and volunteer for the Westerly Youth Lacrosse League. This year's recipients are Tyler Faubert and Molly Riddler. The Westerly Community Credit Union Joseph Cugini Memorial Scholarship is given to a senior who has actively participated in community service, extracurricular activities, and maintained high standards of scholarship throughout high school. Tonight's recipient is Sydney Federico. Congratulations, Sydney. <clears throat> The Westerly Community Credit Union Robert Boulay Memorial Scholarship is given to a senior who has actively participated in community service, extracurricular activities, 
and maintain high standards of scholarship throughout high school. The Robert M. Bule Scholarship goes to Georgina Lau. The Westerly Democratic Town Committee Scholarships are awarded to seniors who have demonstrated an understanding of the importance of civic duty and responsibility. The recipients are Sidney Federico and Michael Fiore. Congratulations. The Westerly Girls Softball League Scholarships in honor of Felicia Bulldock are awarded to senior Westerly softball players who have participated in a minimum of three years within the Westerly Girls Softball League, provided a considerable amount of volunteer and community service, and demonstrated leadership and sportsmanship in sports during their high school years. This year's recipients are Adrian Bowen, Miranda Carrero, and Emma Stahl. Congratulations to all three. The Westerly High School Alumni Scholarship Fund scholarships are presented to students who are pursuing a career in a trade that requires an apprenticeship, technical certification, or licensure, associate's degrees, or bachelor's degrees. This year's recipients are Trinity Patton and Sydney Walker. Congratulations to both Trinity and Sydney. The Westerly High School Athletic Hall of Fame Scholarship is awarded to a student athlete whose parent is a member of the Westerly High School Athletic Hall of Fame. Congratulations to this year's recipient, Sydney Federico. The Westerly High School Class of 1985 scholarship is awarded to a student who has shown a commitment to WHS throughout high school. I'm pleased to award this scholarship to Rocco Salino. The Westerly High School Class of 2017 All-Night Grad Party Scholarships are awarded to seniors who have been active in the school and community activities. This year's recipients are Marissa Berardo, Marianne Elliott, Ryan Imbriglio, and Julia Turo. The Westerly High School Future Business Leaders of America Scholarships are awarded to FBLA students who have excelled in and outside the classroom. Our recipients this year include Adrian Bowen, Rocco Salino, Joseph Fusaro, Nicholas Fusaro, Michael Imbriglio, Timothy Hentz, Brandon LaRosso, Nicholas Lausanne, Patrick Murphy, Derek Pena, and Elizabeth Silvestri. Congratulations to those students. The Westerly High School Sports Booster Sportsmanship Awards are awarded to student athletes who have shown good sportsmanship on and off the athletic field. The recipients are Rocco Salino and Sydney Federico. The Westerly High School Student Council Scholarship. Each year, the Westerly High School Student Council awards scholarships to students who, through their hard work and constant efforts, have helped make the activities of their class and this high school function more efficiently. The recipients include Maya Champ, Gabriella Paterno, Samantha Pagliusi, Natalie Rextis, and Elizabeth Silvestri. Congratulations to those five students. The Westerly Hospital Auxiliary Scholarships are awarded to students who will pursue a degree in the medical-related field. This year's recipients are Kylie Marley and Sean Rafferty. Congratulations. The Westerly Lions Club scholarships offer three scholarships to students who have excelled academically while being involved in school and community activities. And these scholarships are given in honor to past members. The first scholarship is in memory of Jared Bullier. Congratulations to award recipient Jordan Selico. The second scholarship from the Lions Club is in memory of Robert Hatfield. This year's scholarship winner is Gianna Kaleo. The final scholarship from the Lions Club is in memory of Salvatore Sam Falcone. Congratulations to Miranda Carrero for receiving this scholarship. The Westerly Pawkatuck Friendly Sons of St. Patrick's Scholarship is given to a student who is related to a member in good standing. Congratulations to Michael Fiore the winner of this scholarship. 
The Westerly Pawcatuck Friendly Sons of St. Patrick Robert Fallon Memorial Award is given in honor of Bob Fallon, a longtime Westerly High School teacher and leader of the Westerly Pawcatuck Friendly Sons of St. Patrick. This year's recipient is Carly McGill. Congratulations. The Westerly Pawcatuck YMCA Dolphin Swim Team Scholarship is a student who has participated on the YMCA swim team for a number of years. Most importantly, he has demonstrated the YMCA core values of respect, honesty, caring, and responsibility, both in and out of the pool. Congratulations to this year's winner, Brandon LaRosa. The Westerly Teachers Association scholarships are funded by the teachers of the Westerly school system to students who have been active members of the Westerly community. This year's recipients are Maya Champ, Gianna Kaleo, Michael Fiore, Georgina Lau, Jensen Lund, and Aaron Tallardy. Congratulations to those six students. The Westerly Track and Athletic Club scholarships are students who have shown that they are athletically active in track and field sporting events and aggressively promote health and fitness in the local community. Congratulations to Tyler Faubert and Aaron Tallardy. The Westerly Veteran Fireman Association Scholarship is given to a child of an emergency service volunteer. Congratulations to Joseph Fusaro and Aaron Tallardy. The Westerly Visual Arts Scholarship was started by Alexis Duby, a WHS graduate, as part of her senior project to offset the cost of tuition and materials for students who plan to continue their studies in art after high school. This year's recipients are Glarismar Nieves, Gabriela Paterno, and Hannah Vettelino. Congratulations to all three. The Westerly Youth Soccer Association scholarships in memory of Sylvester C. Serra Jr. are presented to seniors who have been involved in the soccer association as a player, coach, assistant coach, concession volunteer, or referee. Congratulations to Aaron Healy and Michael Imbruglio for receiving these scholarships. The William Billy Pitier Memorial Scholarships were established by the Friends of William Pitier in recognition and respect for his memory. These scholarships are presented to students who have been involved with the EMR and EMT program at WHS and will be pursuing a degree in nursing. Congratulations to Julia Turo and Rachel Zabel for winning this scholarship. The William F. Gingerella Memorial Sports Scholarships are in memory of William, a member of the WHS class of 1950. He was an outstanding athlete inducted into the Westerly High School Hall of Fame in 2005. These scholarships have been established by the family of William F. Gingerella and ought to honor and preserve his memory. Congratulations to Rocco Salino and Emma Stahl for winning these scholarships. The William Laverne Stillman and Elizabeth Stillman scholarships are awarded to seniors who have excelled academically and are good role models. This year's recipients, recipients are Jessica Calabrese, Kyle Sioffi, and Natalie Rextus. Our next award is the coveted Kevin Wall Award. These awards represent outstanding achievement in athletics, leadership, and are symbolic of the spirit that Kevin Wall exemplified during his years at Westerly High School. The male recipient will receive a blue blazer and the female recipient will receive a white one, representing athletic excellence. This is the highest athletic award presented at Westerly High School. I'm so proud to announce this year's recipients are Rocco Salino and Sydney Federico. Rocco and Sydney are also our nominees for the Providence Journal Coventry Lumber Rhode Island Athletes of the Year Award. That selection should be coming out soon. I'm expecting that decision to be made sometime next week. Congratulations to both Rocco and Sydney. Our final award for the night is the Westerly High School Top Dog Award. This final award is given to a student 
who exemplifies the true meaning of a westerly bulldog. This student is a top senior who exemplifies service to the school, academic achievement, extracurricular involvement, including sports, clubs, arts, and community service. This senior has bulldog grit and a choose to include attitude. The top dog should exemplify all that is great about teenagers today and give it their all while at Westerly High School. I can say with certainty, Westerly High School is a better place because of this student's scholarship, class, and devotion to the school. Each member of the faculty was asked to nominate one senior for this award, and tonight's most worthy recipient received the most nominations. I am honored to present the Top Dog Award to Miss Abigail Toronto. Congratulations, Abby. I would like to once again thank the hundreds of community sponsors for this night. Thank you to the selection committees for choosing such worthy candidates. Thank you to Ms. Amy Roy and her team for help with the coordination. We have been able to award over $160,000 to our students tonight through your generosity. To quote Harriet Tubman, every great dream begins with a dreamer. Always remember you have within you the strength, the patience, and the passion to reach for the stars and to change the world. Thank you and good night.